Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Titch. And we are the, the Game, Game Bros. Bros. Alright, so guys, we're back in another world of Don't Starve Together. We're going to try this again after our last failed attempt. Hopefully we can go a little bit longer than the last time. Yeah, hopefully. I still have nightmares of frogs jumping out of ponds and licking me to death. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those frogs can be nasty depending on how big you get them. Yeah. Yeah. And, I've, uh, got a, I've got a story about frogs I'll tell you once we get in world. Oh, great. I can't wait to hear this. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to play Willow this time. Yeah, and I'm going to play Wilson. So we're going to go for, like, the average characters and, you know, hopefully uh, yeah, this new world the, will the boyfriend, do us some good. girlfriend run. Yeah. Ooh. All right, you ready so to So which one of us is the big spoon? <laughs> that is definitely me. Oh, okay, I got you. I'm okay with a little spoon. I don't have to be farted on all night. <laughs> well, you might want to be careful. I am the fire starter, so you might want to aim that in a different direction, oh. or we might have oh, flamethrowers coming out of the camp. All right, guys, we're going to make it one night, and that's about it. Let's go ahead and get into <laughs> the world. All right. All right, I am loading in now. And uh. so am I. All right, so since I'm not Wigford anymore, we don't have to worry about, like, meat collecting, so that should help. Right, and I finally got my mini-map working. Nice. And I'm learning some of the controls a little bit better. By the way, you can hit space, and it, she just they just auto-pick stuff up whenever you're near it. That's what I just learned. I did too, so hopefully we won't have that uh, that clicking noise you guys heard in the last video. Yeah. As much. Hey, I already found a wormhole over here. Hey, I found a... Is this a backpack? Did I already find a backpack? No, that's a dap... Oh! I found a dapper vest. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Nice, Looking man. Looking dapper as hell. Absolutely. What is that, plaid? Looking good. Yeah. Alright, All so right. I mentioned so that I had a, a frog story, right? Yeah, let's, uh, let's so, hear that. So back whenever I was in Scouts, we had this really rugged camp set up, right? Um, you know, yeah. like, every morning we would have to make a fire to make our breakfast, and we'd put on a, a grate that was like a cut-up fence, and uh, we would put that over top of some bricks we made out of clay, and then light a fire underneath it and use our cast iron That's spell to simpler. make some food. That's very similar to how my camp operated too. Yeah. We we had the grate over the fire and everything. It was uh, I think it's better that way. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Once you get over like usually the young kids are initially a little afraid to like be out uh, alone, but after like the first couple of nights you get used to it. Like it's great. Um, oh yeah. I can continue. <clears throat> but yeah, so whenever we wash our dishes, we have like uh, three three totes that we put, uh, like, three plastic containers that we put in different uh, amounts of water. So, like, one will have hot water and chlorine, and then one will have uh, hot water and soap, and the other one will have cold water just to rinse it off, and some, um... oh, the, the last station will be a drying station, so it won't have a bucket or anything. So, anyway, <clears throat> okay. we got bored one day, and we were out, and we were picking up frogs, and, um... We were just playing around with them. We let them swim in the cold water since we were done. There's nothing in it. And, um, oh, it's nighttime. Crap. Uh, Whoa. Do you have a fire? Um, fire, 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 fire. Torch. <laughs> All right. That came a lot faster than I was expecting. Yeah. All right. We'll have to keep a better eye out on that. Anyway, we were playing around yeah. with, these, uh, with these frogs, and we were letting them swim in our buckets and stuff. And... Um, this uh, younger uh, camper came over with a frog that he found by himself, and um, he went to go put it in some of the water, but he mistakenly put it in the hot water, and he put two oh, of them no. in there, and we're, we're like, frogging. oh, no, 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 so we, we, um, we, we didn't get the first one out in time, and yeah. uh, it just, like, Aww. fried itself, you know, like you fry frog legs, uh, and then Aww. the second one actually... Uh, <laughs> It wasn't him that put the second one. It was another kid that came over and did the exact same thing. So we, we flipped it out really quick. And we flipped it out into the um, into 
Ooh, it's a turkey. <laughs> um, we flipped it out into the cold water. We didn't get out quite in time. Uh, so about half of its body was burnt up and it was just, it couldn't move its left arm and left leg. So it was just swimming around in a circle the whole time. Oh, that is horrifying. Poor yep. froggy. Those, uh, those kids learned a good little lesson that day. You know, if it wasn't for our incident a few weeks ago, I might feel a little bit worse about that frog, but I have no remorse right now, actually. Yeah. What's this thing? Should I go look at it? Just need to eat, man. It's, this is a Maxwell statue. Uh, there's actually a pickaxe up here. And some oh, nice. marble. This is a really good, this is a really good find. We can, uh, make marble suits and stuff. And I can also mine the, uh, the Maxwell statue. That's and great. Get marble out of it that way. I, um, I just made an axe, so I'm gonna start chopping some wood. Do we, where do we want to set up uh, camp? Do you want to um, try uh, and find, um, I guess, some place with resources, right? So either like a mining area or a beefalo field? Yeah, a good intersection of resources would be where I would think would be the best place. Like, ideally, it would be a beefalo field and a rock quarry or something along those lines, but wherever we can find after exploring, I'd say maybe by night five we should settle on a place. Okay. There's a swampland up here to the north. Latest. Okay. Or what looks swamp. like a swamp e land. Like this kind of black dead like stuff. Murder. Oh, this is where all the yeah, frogs uh, are. Yeah, and uh I'm not sure if it's like seasonal or what, but I know like uh Tentacles will like pop out of the muck and attack you like randomly. Gotcha. Yep. Screw that. I'm going over here. Oh, yep. I just uh, I just got smacked. So we are not going to worry about that right now. Yeah. Very hostile environments. Not a uh, not good unless you're an anime girl <laughs> and you're into that kind of thing. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. So, uh... Alright, so basically we've found forests so far. Yeah, forest. There was a rock quarry off to the left. Alright, I'm gonna head I over... Don't... I'm gonna head over there to the rock quarry. Yeah. I'm heading northeast, or just taking a look around there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna find anything. I'm trying to get enough flowers to make a garland also. How are you doing food-wise? Food-wise, I'm at 86 hunger, so I'm pretty good. Well, that's like, what, okay. halfway? Yeah. Yeah, so... I'm actually gonna unequip my dapper vest. I don't know what it does. The rock quarries over here seem to be a little small. There's one all the way to the west that's a lot larger, and then there are... What is this? What are these... Oh, they're spider eggs. Uh-oh. Now I have three spiders after me. Run! Alright, they're not chasing me more. I'm gonna go down south, then. Alright, I have enough to make my garland, finally. So that's How nice. many do you need again? Huh? How many do you need again? Twelve. Twelve? Oh, I've got eleven. Nice. Uh, there are some fish people attacking some pig people. I would, uh... I would just stand back and observe, and if the fish people win, I would run in and definitely grab up some piggy meat. As dark as that is. Okay, will the fish people attack it's... me if I go in too close? Yeah, so just run in, grab, and then run out. They shouldn't chase you for too long, because I don't think they'll go away from their village too far. Uh, northeast just leads to ocean again, so... Gotcha. These guys are synchronized. They're making it hard on me. <laughs> Should I get the pig skin or just the meat? Uh, get whatever you can. Resources are resources, you know. Yep. All right, I'm kiting them around. Nice. I hit once. Well, they don't hit too hard. Uh, did, how much did it drop your health to? I'm at 120 now instead of whatever it was at before. Oh, that's uh, 
That's nothing. I started off at 150 and I got hit by one of the tentacles once and I'm down to 82. Oh, jeez. It's making my insanity, my sanity go down. Alright, there we go. I'm away from them. I got some meat, which is good because I'm nice. starting to get hungry. I'm, uh... I'm heading your way. There's not a whole lot over here. All the rock quarries are really small and surrounded by monsters. Maybe gotcha. after... Maybe after tonight we should go south. For sure. Sounds good to me. I actually missed one of these statues up here, so I'm going to get a few more pieces of marble. Okay. Which we, we should, once we get the science machine up and running, I can make us some really good uh, armor out of that. We can make marble suits. It'll protect us from the harms. Okay, I'm at the rock quarry. Okay, I am... And I, I see those fishmen that you were talking about. Okay, I went back up north again uh, to where that little kind of um, bridge of land is. Oh, you should be able to okay. see me now. I do. See I don't see you. Come south. But that's probably because I, ha I haven't explored this area. Oh, I see you now. Yeah, there we are. Uh, let's All right. build a fire right here, actually, since it's getting dark. Yeah, that'll work. All right, cool. Oh, there's some uh, there's some gold rocks over here too. Yeah, and there are some more down to the south too, but those fishermen are, are wandering around a lot more. Yeah, I don't really want to mess with them. At least not right now until we get some decent armor and uh, weapons. Yeah. If I had Wigford, I would just suit us up and we'd be good to go, but not the case this time around. Okay. How much food you got? Um, I've got four carrots and five berries now, but I just ate my fill pretty much. So if you want any, you can have it. No, I'm pretty good on food myself. I'm, I'm digging these short nights. Yeah. Two. Oh, I just I just gave you my berries. Oh, um, <laughs> That's fine. I'm, I'm full pretty well. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, as the autumn gets longer, like as we get more into autumn, the nights will get longer. Gotcha. I'm gonna give you all my like rock resources and stuff. That's fine. Load me up. I will be your pack mule. What should I do with the pigskin? I guess I use uh, something. Just, just hang on to it. Not I sure. have a, I have a, a uh, a teddy bear, and a lighter, and I have no clue what either of them do. Huh? <laughs> nice. Hey guys, hope you've been enjoying watching us uh, try to figure out how to survive in the wilderness and don't starve. Ooh, look a flower. Look another flower. Yeah, we're uh. This one up here is mine. Another Don't flower. you dare take it. All right. Uh, we're still a bit rusty. We're still a bit rusty, but we're slowly figuring it out. It's been a while since I played, so hope you're enjoying so far, and we will definitely be putting out more soon. If you liked it, feel free to hit the like button in the bottom right of the screen. And if you really liked it, come on over here by the ocean and click the subscribe button, drifting out to sea. Bye. Click it fast. It's going away. It's going to drift all the way. Oh, well. You guys can always go to our channel and subscribe if you want. Bye. Absolutely. Bye, guys.